Volkswagen Touran. Absolutely beautiful condition. I just, I'm just picking up this car for that reason. So traction control light is on. Um, I'm gonna try to do a screen capture here so we can see what's going on with it. All right, so go there, go select. So I'm gonna select the EBS brake module. See what faults we have. Fault codes. Brake pressure sensor. Fault code zero one four three five. Right, so we there was a, a recall for this car, I believe, ages ago for uh, for the same problem. It's a quite common problem with this uh, Volkswagen to run the brake pressure sensor. Let's go ahead and try to get some uh, live data on this I think it's zero zero five there you go so the pressure is way way high now I'm gonna press the brake pedal and it's no change whatsoever I'm gonna go for a quick test drive let me get the the EBS there as well just go for a quick test drive. I'm gonna put the GoPro on to see what's, what happens. If everything is working properly, if I have any more lights coming on. Don't know if you're gonna be able to see the lights flashing there, but obviously we are connected to the to the module. Don't take notice of uh, the, the light bulb. There's a light bulb that's gone on the left. Main beam. Uh, so speed sensors are working so good now the brake pressure sensor let's press the brake now it doesn't seem to change as well way high doesn't change at all Right, so just gonna drive this car home and then see what happens to it. It's very likely it needs another another ABS ABS pump. Right, so I've done quite a bit of driving yesterday and today. Uh, looked at the live data and it's pretty clear to me that this Volkswagen Terrain is suffering from the same common issue that they suffer where uh, the ABS brake pressure sinks inside the ABS fails and gets stuck at uh, 214 uh, bars which is really high there's a couple ways that you can go about it you can buy a new pump program to the car and i didn't even dare to to find out the price must be very expensive but it would be the best fix but what i'm going to do is i just went to my breaker yard and i bought a second hand pump it cost me 30 pounds and what i'm planning to do is to remove the ABS pump that we have in this car, keep the module that is programmed to the car, and then just swap the mechanical parts uh, where it, the, the brake pressure uh, sensor is situated, and hopefully should fix our problem. And then obviously do like a brake bleed, all four wheels, and perhaps a scanner uh, ABS bleed procedure as well. So next, I'm gonna start removing the airbox, uh, the battery and everything else and yeah, let's get cracking Now to remove the 
the lines from the EBS pump, this guy here is your best friend. This type of spanner is the best, so you don't damage anything. Sometimes it can get quite, quite hard. There you go, that one's moving nicely. So it makes a hell of a difference. Sometimes if they are too hard, you damage the the nut part quite easily. So this is, yeah, this is 11 mil on one side <clears throat> and then nine mil the other side. Right, so pump it removed. Oh, I just marked it so I don't get confused. So this is the original one. So I put number one in there. This is the second hand one where I have to swap the module. So I put number two in there. One casualty though, this pipe and the fitting seized up. So I was, I was turning um, the nut part here. Um, the pipe also was spinning. So I decided to cut it off and perhaps I'm gonna make a new pipe. But it's absolutely seized up. It's not moving at all. Put you guys down. Yeah, seized. Let me get an 11. 11 mil spanner yeah as, as you as you spin the fitting the pipe also spin you can see it's, it's bent right here so that's what was happening so I decided to remove it completely make a new pipe so it's, it's seized up inside in here so let's see what we're gonna do about that I need to get this fitting so I can make a new pipe. But let's concentrate on the swap of the pump. So two torque screws here, and then we should be able to remove the, the motor and the valves and so on, and then swap the module with the second one, hand one. That's one bolt. Second one, be able to pry the whole thing off. And there we go. Okay, so this is our, our pressure sensor right here. So I'm going to remove the, the second hand one, swap them over and happy days. The connector here seems to be good, everything else seems to be fine. Okay, so that's our good one. So we're gonna leave that number two module away and fit into the new one. All right, job done. Be the case, just swap it back and plug everything in, fit all the pipes in. I've got to make another pipe now.
Right, so I fitted the pump back in. New new brake line is all rooted in a, the original bracket. Uh, no leaks, doesn't seem to be leaking. I top it up the, the reservoir here it does, and pump the brake, it doesn't seem to be leaking. It doesn't seem to be leaking down there. So I just need to fit this new, not new, need to fit, fit this vacuum solenoid uh, pump module back in there and then we're ready to bleed the brakes right so I bled the rear left rear right front left now i'm going to do the bleeding on front right let me get you guys right in the action here there we go it's getting kind of dark now but i want to finish this tonight or today they all a little bit rusty so i want to just clean them a little bit this one is not too bad. All right, gonna get my my visibly done. There you go. Right, open the valve. I already filled up the brake fluid the reservoir up some new fluid to the to the max. Okay, so that's all good, that should be enough. No bubbles. Close the valve. The real ones are quite rusty, but this, this front ones are quite good. So that's it, that's done. On. That's it, job done. Right, so I just top it up the brake reservoir. I just got to clean up a little bit. Let's see if we've got any leaks. No, no leaks. That's good. Let's see. On the pump itself. Again, nice and clean, no leaks. Good. Alright, so I think we can go for a test drive. Alright, so the pedal itself feels nice and positive still got all the lights on the traction that's the one that we want to sort it out but obviously i turned the battery off or disconnected the battery so it needs calibration it needs to to dry for a little bit but let's have a look at the pressure let me put it obs on all right select module abs Measuring block zero zero five, and I'm mistaken. There we go. Zero twelve zero thirty five, and if you remember, I think it was in that two hundred two hundred bar before. So let's go for a test drive and press the brake. Press the brake. Goes to nine ten. The lights still on. The ABS lights came on because we are connected. But let's go for a drive, and hopefully. Hopefully it will calibrate itself. Right, 
lights off, steering, steering wheel lights went out, and also the traction control. Now that the lights are cleared, I connect to VCDS again just to monitor the pressure. I'm not pressing the brake now, I'm just about to press the brake right now. They went 19 bars. Pressing the brake again. Oh, I've got an error there. Lost connection. Right. Let's go back now. I think I keep knocking the cable with my leg. I think we're sorted. We'll see the lights flashing there because we are connected, but let me we're gonna clear the folds and then that should go back to normal. Right, so let's go ahead and clear the folds. As you can see now it's intermittent. Clear codes. Yes. Fold codes has been erased. Okay, we are all done. And as you can see, no lights on. Start the engine again. Just got to change that light bulb. And there you are. When I was bleeding the brakes, I always kind of look around the car. Uh, although the car is not making any noise when you drive, that spring on the left hand side was broken. I put a picture on the screen here. I did film a little bit. I'm probably gonna have to that to do that as well if I get the job soon. So that's another video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any comments, just leave it below. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.